This is Don, Don Kryptonium. This is my name, the greatest influencer that the crypto has ever seen. The hero that the crypto needs. But today's episode is not about the crypto hero. Today's episode is about Kujira. Kujira ecosystem. And I'm using this time to speak about Kujira ecosystem because the Kuji is trending. Its token is trending. Everyone is talking about this. People wonder how to get into Kujira ecosystem. People ask questions. What is Kujira? People ask, where is Kujira? Is it on Ethereum? Is it on some layer twos? So in this video, you will have a complete breakdown into Kujira ecosystem and what is Kuji token, okay? So before we start, make sure you like this video. If this is on Twitter, send the love, send the hearts and retweet this video. So to give you a background, the Kujira started in the Luna ecosystem. It was the, well, let's call it complete DeFi hub that meant to utilize back then I assume, the Luna assets. Unfortunately, we know how the it ended, and Kujira decided to take their own path and establish the new blockchain. And for the home for this new blockchain, obviously, they choose Cosmos SDK. So this is a layer one blockchain built with the Cosmos SDK and using the Tender Mint consensus algorithm. I shouldn't even say that because no one really cares what are those things. So let's focus on the ecosystem. Kujira trying to be DeFi hub. What, what means the DeFi hub, okay? Um, when you think of DeFi, uh, decentralized finance, you think of swapping, you think of order books, you think of lending, borrowing, you think of trading, you think of creating the certain financial systems, maybe over collateralized stable coins. And Kujira wants to be home for that. They want to be uh, the variety of products that try to be the centralized finance. And this is how we are going to look into this ecosystem. Okay, so layer one blockchain that the main focus is DeFi. And now let's have a look on what protocols they have built on this layer one, okay? So the first is Kujira Blue, which is, um, you know, just the just the dashboard that, that you can use. If I go to the page of, of Kujira Blue, so Kujira Blue is just the dashboard. It's the place where you see your assets, where you can quickly swap your assets, but this is not the best place to swap your assets, and we will talk about this. This is where you can easily breach to the Kujira ecosystem, mean the stable coin that is over collateralized with different assets like Ethereum, Bitcoin, Atom, and so on. This is where you also stake your tokens to validator because this is delegated proof of stake. And I cannot recommend you more the person, let's find him. Let's find the guy, Don Kryptonium. Where is Don Kryptonium? On the very bottom is Don Kryptonium with no slashes. Remember, support Don Kryptonium if you have Kuji token. But this is not about self-promotion. This is about this great ecosystem of Kuji. So the dashboard, maybe it's not the main thing, the most interesting. So they have more. Uh, they have Orca. And Orca is the liquidation market, right? Orca is where it all started. Kujira first product. And approach to liquidating loan collateral. So we know that you can do loans on, on Kujira. So it makes sure everyone gets a price, a piece of the actions. Users can bid on Atom and other assets using USK. And when those loans go down and approach the liquidation and get liquidated, users who bid on them can buy them for 10, 20, even 10, 30% lower so they can say, let's say Atom is trading at 10, they have the, the candle, there is liquidation, and maybe you can get Atom at 7, 8, and sell it quickly for profit. One of the best things probably is order book, is Kujira order book, uh, that you can have a look. Um, so this, you know, some people say like, you know, this is, doesn't look perfect because um, I'm, I squeeze my, uh, my page. 
Um, but this is how order book looks like. So this is very similar if you start if you were using some of the centralized exchanges order book. This is how it looks, and this is also probably the best place where you can buy Kujira assets, including Kujira tokens. And the other things is AMM market, uh, Kujira Bow, uh, where where you can provide liquidity, uh, Kujira Ghost, which is money market, uh, where you can borrow and lend, and worth to mention the new things that are also coming to Kujira. So maybe this is the reason when there is some hype. Let's understand the token and how what's coming, which is perpetuals, can change that model and change the yield of what will happen to Kujira. So Kujira decided that it's not really sustainable to have the high inflation as many blockchains are using, you know, Cosmos, for example, has 12% inflation from other blockchains, Polkadot and others also have usually high inflation to incentivize staking. Kujira decided to have the hard cap of tokens. So it has roughly around 100 million tokens and there is no inflation. The APR right now stands at probably half percent, which is the fees collected from those platforms and you get paid in Kuji tokens, but also in all of the other tokens that are traded in Kujira ecosystems that include stable coins, that include Atom tokens and DAO tokens that were created um, in the Kuji ecosystem and are traded within Kuji ecosystem. Soon, the new protocol that is to come is Perpetuals and the fees that will be collected from the trading and we know that there is a lot of fees to be collected um, from trading you know dydx prints i believe something close to 100 million dollars a year from the fees gmx uh, was printing uh, hundreds thousands of dollars every day and i see no reason why we would not expect high volumes on kujira and those fees collected will be distributed also to ecosystem participants as well to Kuji Sturker so this yield can go higher. So why the you know why we have this massive squeeze of the Kuji right now and this is not like advising of buying you know this is crazy time and I'm making this video because it's trending so I think it's good to introduce you to this ecosystem. But also, this is another reason, it doesn't have inflation, okay? And the token seems to be quite scarce uh, because there is not much dumping coming from the staking rewards, but it doesn't mean it has to go up, okay? It doesn't mean uh, this is what I'm trying to tell you, but I'm saying there is not much of the dilution of the token itself, and it's not easily accessible as of now because it's trading you know uh, max is the the largest uh, centralized exchange when you can get it and three million volume is there the other best place where the kuji token itself is uh tra trading it's you know kuji ecosystem but to surprise camelot dex which is on arbitrum which is layer two uh, also least Kuji and it's very popular. It's in uh, constantly in top 10. I think for the last 24 hours, it's probably around top five most traded tokens in Arbitrum. So this is the places where, where it's traded right now. There is some news that another centralized exchange might list Kujira soon. So we might look to more of the ecosystem. They have the mobile wallet, which is Sonar. They are not fully integrated within Kepler. Kepler supports it, but uh, so you can add Kuji, um, but it doesn't support its dashboard. You have Calc Finance, where you can easily, you know, dollar cost average in or dollar cost average out, not in only into Kuji tokens, but into any token that you want within a Cosmos ecosystem, okay? Uh, one thing I want to make sure that you see is Manta DAO. So Manta offers, like, let's read what it says, okay? It's the easiest. Tooling and contracts for trading, yield farming, liquidity provision, and asset management. So this is UI for the best prices of UI for swapping, you know, and liquidity for Kuji. So when I swap my tokens, I don't do it on Kujira dashboard, okay? So this is what I said, I don't do this easy swap. I either go to the order book to get the best prices, or I go to Manta, which gives me the good UI, merging this all and giving me the best price of the token, right? So uh, let's go to the swap and you bridge 
So in Manta app, you can you can either bridge it within the you know Kuji dashboard, or you can um, obviously bridge it. Let's go let's go back. You know, uh, you can also bridge the assets here directly to Kujira, and when you swap, you know you can you can select any asset, and this is this is where you more likely get the best prices to swap the tokens within Kujira ecosystem. So this is Manta swap, and they build the treasury higher. And also they have their own DAO token and this DAO token also yields you. So the fees that are collected in Manta are redirected to the stakers of Manta DAO. But you don't have to do it. This is just the best place, the best UI for acquiring Kuji tokens. Uh, the thing that is new that already happened, uh, let me see, I, I don't see it here. It's just unstake finance that had airdrop to to um, to Kuji stakers, which will be as I'm aware, liquid staking provider where you can instantly unstake your tokens within unbonding time, but you will be required to pay small fee that I assume will be distributed maybe to the people. But this is just like you know we don't know anything yet. This was just new thing, and some people were saying. Um, that this will be interesting product. As of now, I don't know what this product does. It's time to wait. But Kujira ecosystem within itself, it's fully transparent, well, fully functional, I would say. And But Kuji ecosystem itself is fully functional with variety of product, DeFi ecosystem, where you can leverage your assets where you can participate and you don't have to go between blockchains to use something because this is all here lending borrowing swapping trading um minting stable coins and so on i hope this video was i hope this video was useful for you if you were confused by what is kujira now you know what is kujira straight from the hand of don kryptonium and with that, I am out. Don Kryptonium is out. Till the next time.